that's what's really going on you want to be my guru and I refuse to be your guru but I will help you become mentally stronger in reason and, and emotional reason it's it's all emotional reason there is no other kind of reason okay the cat's out of the bag the only kind of reasoning is emotional reasoning you can put extra criteria on your emotional reasoning and make it logically coherent it's still emotional that's where it comes from that's how there's no escaping will will is a series of emotional uh, transactions be open always, even if you think I am lying and whatnot. Keep the interaction going, not just with me, but anyone. Truth is a function of the process. Stop telling me what to do, Adam. And when I get very bored of you, I will stop talking to you. And that is likely to happen shortly after I warn you that I find something ridiculously, unacceptably tedious. Relations come from the continuing process. They're statistical anomalies. Now you're talking about statistics and shit. Just, you still believe in the st static universe. No, I believe in a dynamic universe. You should add a clock to your maps. And I'm not sure intellectual territory can be mapped on a fixed geography. Okay. It can't be. You need a million infinite number of maps. It's a technique. That's like saying, I'm not sure you can draw a picture of a person completely on a pe single piece of paper. I see the complexity and the best I can do sometimes is describe and in time understand it. And then maybe I will know how to manage my philosophy with yours. Yeah, but if you maintain this egotistical rhetoric of yours, I'm going to just keep chopping the stilts down half by half until you're back on the ground. Stop trying to belittle me. I know that it is a lie, but I'm sure you feel it. Just try to entertain the possibility of your delusion. The mirrors are very subtle, but I see through them. Nope, you have to do better than that to get me to uh, to give in, to, to, to blow and smoke up your ass like you want. My ego is not fake. It is who I am. Well, that's sad. There is a sleeping giant in me. Well, either let him sleep or wake him up. He's a bit groggy at the moment. And whether I am little or not, that one still feels. The little guy is a comfortable mass because the grandeur of the sleeping giant would be too much to bear, too much reality. It would not act in harmony. I would have to pretend to be normal. The next best thing is to delude oneself into being little. The walls are up and I'm relieved of my full weight. The little guy is the functional unit that the big guy must interface with. So I think there is this inner relationship. The ocean of the inner vault is the big guy who sees everything. Great text if you happen to be watching this far into the video. I think you asked a question related to, to what I am doing here uh, in a recent video of yours. Uh, okay, let's just finish this off. 10. Also, do not think of trying to get me to some destination and then become closed because I did not reach it. Instead, try to find a way to be in harmony that will work for all time. Let me develop in my way. Find a way to respect while expressing yourself. And no, 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 no. I'm not going to use your... You believe respect means give eugenics a chance. Give uh, racism a chance. Slavery, maybe. I'm not saying yes. Fuck that bullshit. Okay? The open leaky mining, it ain't happening. That ain't what relativism means. You relate things, meaning you measure which one is bigger, which one is brighter, which one's more red. We are in... It's happening, man. Okay? 11. It is a matter of principle that people who are racist should be tolerated insofar as they are not impinging on your liberty or quality of liberty. Is it? it? Sometimes principles come in conflict. The principles are freedom of mind and freedom of explanation. Respect of the individual to those that abide by it. Well, it's true. If, if I don't have to hear their foul opinions, I, it's not like I want to go in their head and pull it out. Or even in their house and read their diary. But if they say it on the internet, fuck them. I am seeking unbiasedness. That is why I say this. I want full control of my own mind when I listen to the objectionable people to consider their views. And then I will return to you to see what you have to say. But I wish you would conduct yourself better so I can learn from you instead of being bigoted in this manner. Well, tough shit. Tough shit that you're beginning. You're just a little tadpole and I'm supposed to be a tadpole with me, Piro. Sorry, too late. I'm a full grown bullfrog now. I think this area undermines your whole shit. 
because I think you are normally tolerant. I'm extremely tolerant. That being tolerant is my weak point, but this is your weak area. <laughs> there is a better way, and this is the thing too about um, drinking regularly makes me a more tolerant person. <laughs> so uh, it's just funny. Um, there is a better way to handle matters. There is a calm way to be. Yeah, and I, I am. I am enough of it. All that matters is the one and the perfection of oneness. <sighs> Gag me. I hate your rhetoric. Respect of individual is the respect of everyone. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with that. You have been respected. There is the liberty. Honesty is a sign of respect. Right? If you if you don't tell someone the truth because it's like you don't... You just why bother? You know, because you have no respect for them. So you don't try to say, hey, you know what? There's a, uh, you know, there's food right here. It's like, you know, the per you say, oh, the person's a slob. Anyway, they're not going to, why bother? There is the, but I always say, there, that's respect. People don't think so, but they're wrong. There is the liberty, but also the quality of liberty. Like if people decide to discriminate on objectionable people and the process of dialogue undermined, that is not good. Righteousness ensures that quality is maximum for all people. So, though, so there are some duties, but there are for the success of the whole enterprise. So there's a duty to tolerate intolerant people. Well, that is just something an intolerant person likes to say. It doesn't make sense. Those people are intolerant, so they're failing the duty, but we have a duty to still do it for them. Why don't we have a duty to teach them tolerance? I do not like when any individual mistreated even ignorant racists and big, bigots because they're ignorant in quotes because they are thus not rational and not in control of who they are. Something must be done to encourage all people to participate in dialogue and education should be about equipping the individuals with tools to carve out their own understanding. I think it is still brainwashing, still wrong. When people are forced to accept liberal views in school. Brainwashing is never right. People should, no matter where they start in life, eventually find the truth. It is not up to us to impose. We can present our own view and hope they listen by it. See, this is like, this is what you think I should be like. But you then say, I am the special thing with the king and nobody has the light but me. Hypocrite. I'm a principled fellow and there are a whole bunch of conundrums in the world. Righteousness is a reality we can choose. I do not want to impose. I want free individuals to choose it. 12 and we're finally at the end. I do not mean to lecture. I'm trying to describe my thought to get it out first. It is complex. And if I seem to talk with superiority, that is me when I am not oppressed. And that makes you insufferable. I am what others can be if followed, except for I am able to suffer you because of my very strong um, digestion. I am what others can be if they follow the light not egoistic, so much as an ego development, an ego expression, self-discovery, a spirit comes alive, and I follow that spirit no matter how grand. I am so zen. I am surfing, serving the ocean of complexity. Everything is complex. So I am sorry if I am not always consistent. I am aware of it. I will try to improve. I sort of see it as all falling into consistency eventually. I may have to call you Scrooge. If you keep acting as a grump, I'm just what you need, Adam. But then again, self-medication, even philosophical self-medication, is not always advisable. But that is your choice as a free agent. Um, so, well, that's that.